Resident Evil 2 Remake is absolutely a masterpiece. If you have the opportunity today, pick it up. It is 50% off on Steam. I have no doubts in my mind that if you play through this, you will enjoy it. It usually goes without saying, but this video will contain spoilers. This video is a playthrough of Claire Redfield's story mode. Let's just say it's more of an abridged version, so I think you'll enjoy it. Since I have about a minute of downtime while this intro cutscene plays, I'll go ahead and explain the Resident Evil series. Today is Halloween. Resident Evil is a horror game series. Usually, the Resident Evil formula goes as follows. You're in an area. In that area, you need to find key items to solve puzzles. Puzzles unlock new areas. In those areas are different zombified monsters that you have to fight or avoid. And you have limited resources when it comes to getting rid of them. You might be tempted to burn all your resources to take out an easy room of zombies so you don't have to deal with them again. But what if there's a boss battle around the corner? Then what do you do? Another theme of the Resident Evil series is that the developers make it so that you have a false sense of comfort. As soon as you feel like you know what's going on, a new wrench is thrown in the mix. I'll give you an example in this game. So it starts off with zombies, right? Of course, zombies, they're easy. You just run away from them. They're not very fast. But what happens when a new enemy is introduced called a Licker? This enemy is extremely mobile and deadly. Their weakness is that they are blind. So the only way to get past them is to sneak. But what happens if there's a room of zombies and lickers? So how do you get past both of them? Well, you have to move fast to get away from the zombies, but you have to move slow to get away from the lickers. Just when you think you found the solution to that problem, there's another wrench to deal with. In this case, this wrench is named Mr. X, who, if you didn't know, is a fashionable, incredible Hulk-looking guy that walks around the police station constantly following you so that you always have to be on the move. If you stop, Mr. X gets you, game over. Essentially, when you combo these difficult to solve dilemmas with the amazing horror ambience of this game, you get a bone chilling thrill ride of an adventure. Also, if you're a graphics junkie, you can bump these settings up to max and it'll look better than real life. That's about all I want to say for the game because it's much more fun for you to experience it on your own. I had a blast editing this as my Halloween project and I hope you enjoy it. I really appreciate you checking out the video. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section after you're done. Raccoon PD, I'm home. Oh boy, handgun ammunition that I'm gonna be too afraid to use. Send reinforcements. East hallway. That sign looks like the Where are you? Alright already. Please. <laughs> Surprise. All right. My leg. My leg. You're safe. For now. <clears throat> Looks like there might be a way out through this secret passageway. If you see one of those things, you can't hesitate. Oh! Oh! Ah! Hi, it's Fitz with Slap Chop. You're gonna be in a great mood all day because you're gonna be slapping your trouble. Ah! One slap, you got big chunks for stew. I have an idea. <laughs> so we're gonna lure him all the way back up to the top. I'm gonna make him fall again, and then right when he hits the floor, we're gonna slap chop him. The more you do it, the finer it gets. You have to switch it. Aww. What in tarnation? Please, Chopper, it just came out of nowhere. Yeah. Ooh, a flashbang. Stay down! I said stay down! What the hell is that? Alright, I'm gonna head out. My precious. Guys, what's up? We're doing an ASMR playthrough of Resident Evil 2. We gotta keep our voices down where the liquor will hear us. I wouldn't want to do anything that's too loud and bring unnecessary attention to where I am. You know, like why would I do something loud? That's the last thing that I would want to do when there are liquors all around us. I already said I'm sorry! Look, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I think we can be friends. What do you say? 
Okay. We could have had something special. It's just like Destiny 2. Okay, I'll put away the grenade launcher. Jumping off the map, SMH. Well, thankfully, at least he can't climb ladders. Shit. I think we lost him, so we can start talking in our normal voices. Don't worry. He's not gonna hear me or anything. Trust me. I'm per- Apparently we have to solve the Millennium Puzzle to get out of here. Oh. This part's new. Oh. Where you going, Sherry? <laughs> That's you. Come on! Oh! gotta do is just lure him away from the other zombies and then I gotta lure those zombies away from the fence come on you can do it please get out of the fence you know what modern problems require modern solutions 200 IQ always oh, still going I'm sorry did they morph into each other all right just calm down they don't call me controller cakes for nothing two bullets one dog let's go I he actually came with the taunt. And yeah, there we go. Kind of hungry right now. Could really go for a hot dog. But in all seriousness, this is kind of uh, scuffed. I don't know what I'm going to do when we get to boss fights because I have to use my grenade launcher now. I really, really want this achievement though. So. This elevator travels directly to the Twilight Zone. I really regret using all that grenade launcher ammo. Oh, I get knocked down, but I get up again. You ain't never. In the night away. Hey, remember how you said taking a class in hieroglyphics was a waste of time? Who's laughing now? Easy. No, 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 no! I'm actually falling asleep. This took way longer than it should have. Dispensing solution now. When you think about it, this is the original Plants vs. Zombies. Resident Evil did it first. Hello! It's gonna blow up. Oh, that's the stuff. Well, that would have been helpful like an hour ago. Sherry, the door. Open the door. Time is a factor. Let's uh, get that door open. Please, 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 please. Hey, Sherry, do you know that plants crave electrolytes? A minigun. That means there's a boss fight. I'm a lead farmer. Ah! 
<laughs> oh, doing that hurt. Not bad. Oh, yeah. Claire. Leon. It's so good to see you. I told you we'd make it, didn't I? You did. Okay, now this is actually the credits. Wasn't gonna bait and switch you here. <laughs>